Hello everyone, in this video we'll explore the Scene Explorer tab located at the top of the left panel. Let's briefly describe its controls. The first one is the search box. Enter the name of an object, and it will display all matches below. To the right of the search box are four tabs, objects, materials, distance light sources, and camera slots. Today we will look at three of them. A separate video will cover the materials tab. Let's start with the scene objects tab. Light Tracer uses the concept of groups to organize objects in your scene. A group acts as an aggregator and can be manipulated as a single entity. Click the plus icon to create a new group for our objects. Drag them into group one. Right click on the group to see what group management options are available. Rename, delete, duplicate, look here, show only, break group. Click on look here. Our lamp object will be centered in the viewport. Click Show Only and only the vase will remain in the viewport. The other objects will disappear. But don't worry, the objects haven't vanished, they're just hidden. The right icon with a white square shows that the object is displayed in the viewport, and the icon with a black square indicates that the object is hidden. Click on this icon to show or hide the object in the viewport. Take a closer look at the lamp. Instead of a light bulb, a UV sphere is used in the fixture and you want the light to continue to emit from it, but the object itself to be invisible. It can be achieved by making the object invisible to the camera while keeping indirect illumination for that object. Use this button to enable such a mode. As you can see, the sphere disappears, but the light and shadows remain. Click on the object icon, and it will display information about the mesh. Right-click on the object's name to open a menu similar to the group menu, except for the process mesh. Here you can find a lot of useful functions, which we'll cover in a separate video. If you have many groups and objects and find it difficult to navigate, use the Collapse All the Groups of the Scene Hierarchy button. Now you can decide independently which groups to expand. You can also place objects in existing groups and change the order of arrangement in the menu. If you need to expand all groups, use the Expand All the Groups of the Scene Hierarchy button. Lastly, note that any object can be deleted using the Delete Selected Objects from the Scene button and duplicated using the Duplicate Selected Scene Objects button. Remember, to select multiple objects, hold down the control key or use the shift key to select a particular range of items. The Map Emitters tab. Light Tracer has a built-in HDRI editor, allowing you to create custom environments. On this tab, you can see distant light sources added to the environment. Light sources can be deleted, duplicated, and hidden on the environment map. To set up a source, it must be selected either by clicking in the HDRI preview below or through the Scene Explorer. The View Slots tab. The View Slot allows you to store the current viewpoint. Simply set up your preferred camera angle and click this button. To open a slot with the saved view, click on this button. If you have changed the camera position and want to save it in an existing slot, press the Refresh button. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new tutorial videos.